so hebrew teaches us very clearly without ambiguity from all the readings we have read if you follow carefully without ambiguity hebrews tells you number one you are saved forever is that true now can i hear you shout it very loud i am saved forever number two hebrews teaches you you are perfected forever is that true so can i hear you shout i am perfected forever number three hebrews tells you you are sanctified once and for all is that true so i want you to shout i am sanctified once and for all if it's clear somebody shout it is clear hebrews 10 38 now the judge shall live by faith but if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him hold it look at me from everything i taught you from background to where i am now does that scripture apply to you who is saved forever wait who is saved forever who is sanctified forever who is perfected forever so does this scripture now address you why huh? 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 you can never draw back so that means when he's talking about my, your soul draw back he wasn't talking to christians he was addressing a group that's why sometimes in two verses those two verses are not addressing one group it's addressing two groups of people how do we know that so look at 38 he is addressing a group of people that is not you then look at verse 39 but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition but of them that believe to the saving is 39 talking to you is 38 talking to you no because the writer of hebrews was addressing believing jews and non-believing jews so you will see those kind of things in between each other as you read the scriptures and i'm laying this for because i'm going to get into some very crazy crazy part of this book of hebrews to help you understand so that there is clarity in the doctrine of salvation where you are concerned say i hear say i hear all right hebrews 11 verse 2 can we all read together very loud one to go for by it the elders obtain a good report who obtained a good report are you the elders huh are you the elders who are the elders the old testament people abel abraham noah moses rahab all of them are the elders they obtain good report through this faith that hebrews is describing and to show you that this faith is not new testament faith to show you that it's not talking about christians of the new testament here in this same context in the course of this same discourse look at verse 39 of hebrews 11 and this all having obtained what a good report through faith receive not the promise you see that they got the report but didn't get the promise but you have the promise you're not you're not hearing they didn't get the promise but we got the promise who is the promise jesus they are types and shadows we have substance they ate bread and rabina in the wilderness and they died we don't eat bread and rabina we eat jesus we live forever i'm teaching good they were baptized in water and with some of them god was not pleased we are not baptized in water we are baptized in the spirit that which is born of flesh that which is born of spirit that's why john the baptist the last prophet how many of you know that john the baptist is the last prophet of the old testament you know that okay let's have some of you the new testament didn't start in matthew the new testament started in acts of the apostles technically okay technically but for the purpose of translators to make it easy for you they included the transition books in the new testament matthew mark luke and john are transition books because Gongo lo go go. When I speak like this, you better speak your own because something is happening. The New Testament started in Acts of the Apostles. How do we know that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were transition books and they are not New Testament? Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Made where? So when Jesus came, what was he? He was under so that means matthew mark luke and john are under that means they are part of the old testament i don't know if i'm teaching here if you understand this here 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 matthew 26 28 to further buttress this fact for this is 
my blood my what blood of the so until the blood of jesus was poured out there was no new testament so the new testament is in the blood and the blood was not shed in matthew mark luke and john where was the blood shed at the end of john after the blood was shed what was the next book that was written acts that's why acts chapter one says after his resurrection so after he died and shed his blood when he rose the first account of his resurrection is acts of the apostles so where is the new testament acts to revelation somebody says uh -uh, i can give you more to butterize the fact should we butterize hebrews 9 16 for where a testament is there must also of necessity be the death of the testator next verse for a testament is of force after men are dead otherwise it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. end of discussion i'm teaching good here so there will be no new testament until the testator died so it was after jesus died when he rose a new testament started where is that acts of the apostles but i have news for you the new testament is not the testament of a dead testator <laughs> the new testament is not a testament of a dead testator you see the testator died and gave back to the new testament then he rose to defend the testament i don't know if i'm talking to somebody if you're hearing me shout i hear sit down and follow you know in the natural in the natural when a father is about to die he writes his will and hands over to a lawyer to protect the testament okay when jesus was to die nobody he could not trust anybody in, in, to start with self nobody could help him nobody was of any contribution so to start with it was the exclusive work of god to save man so when he died he didn't give any man to help to defend so he had to rise and he became the 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 the, 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 the advocate he became the advocate general of the church if any man sin we have an if i'm teaching good shout i hear he rose from the dead and became the advocate general of his testament and he told the devil shut up i was the one that finished you and i am the one defending them when the devil say you are not qualified jesus he said shut up i qualify him i qualify him i qualify him and it's not just the advocate general he is the judge he is the advocate he is the judge the chief judge so when the devil accuses you jesus tells him shut up on what basis this man is acquitted and discharged he's not just granted pardon he's not granted pardon he's acquitted and discharged these are two different things no record that's right acquitted discharge if they granted you pardon it means you are actually a criminal it's just that out of compassion the judge decided to grant you pardon but your records are still there but when you are acquitted and discharged it means the case has been squashed there is nothing to reference to next time it means in that court of law all those documents that concern that case are wiped out wiped out destroyed so tomorrow if anybody makes reference to that case the court can grab him for character assassination because as far as the court of justice is concerned this man stands justified in the sight of god there is no record against you you stand justified you are forgiven forever if your amen slaps the devil you are the righteous man of god somebody shout i'm justified somebody shout i'm forgiven acquitted and discharged right now i stand before god without guilt condemnation or righteousness i am the righteousness of god in christ my record is clean amen, amen. Woo! i feel like dancing If you are the one understanding what I'm teaching, let your amen slap the devil. 
so because you are righteous before God let us come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time as you will stand and shout amen every need in your life right now I release help you are justified you are sanctified you are accepted in the beloved shout yes Hebrews 11:40. Look at it. God having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. All them Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. That's why today we don't say the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, we don't pray that kind of prayer anymore because Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob want our God. You don't understand. I'm no more waiting for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. No, no, no. If the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob was good enough, they would have entered rest. But the Bible says, after all that they did, they could not enter. But God having provided some better thing, we are better than them. Somebody shout, this is a better day. A better me. And a better future. Under Jesus, my high priest. Can I hear your amen? Amen. God having provided some better thing for us that they without us should not be made perfect. They without us cannot be made perfect because we are in a better dispensation. What has God provided for us that is better? The blood of Jesus. And number two, he has perfected us. They were not perfected, but we are perfected. They were not perfected because animal blood cannot perfect you. But we are perfected because what we have is the blood of Jesus. And this blood of Jesus has perfected us. As we stand now, we stand perfect before God. With all your mistakes, God doesn't see them. He sees Christ. And in Christ, there is no mistake. Am I teaching good? Before God, you stand perfect. Before God, you stand complete. Before God, you stand righteous. And before God, you stand without a record of evil so hebrews 12 18 look at this as i pray for you are not come unto the mount somebody say i am not come unto the mount uh -huh. there are some mountains you shouldn't go you didn't hear now your voice is small you didn't hear there are some mountains you shouldn't go you are not come unto the mount that might be touched and that born with fire nor unto blackness and darkness and tempest and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words which voice they that had entreated that the word should not be spoken to them anymore for they could not endure that which was commanded and if so much as a beast touched the mountain it shall be stoned or thrust through with a dart and so terrible was the sight that moses himself said i exceedingly fear and quake but you are come unto mount zion somebody shout i have come and unto the city of the living god the heavenly jerusalem and to an innumerable company of angels look at this to the general assembly and church of the firstborn which are written where in heaven who are those written in heaven if you are written in heaven wave your hand and shout i'm in the number and to god the judge of all and to the spirits where are those just made made perfect you are right here next verse next verse and to we have come to who who have we come to yeah, 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 yeah. and to jesus the mediator of the new covenant and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh do you know the meaning of better things than the blood of abel the blood of abel was not abel's blood the blood of abel was that animal sacrifice the blood of abel is the animal sacrifice and the blood of abel is jesus blood the blood of abel was animal sacrifice the blood of Abel is Jesus' blood. May God give you understanding. The blood of Abel was animal sacrifice. But the blood of Abel is Jesus' blood. So the blood of Abel is better than the blood of Abel. <laughs> glory. I say glory. Yeah. The Old Testament people use animals. It was inferior to the blood of Christ so listen to me what happened to them cannot happen to you your case is different you are not Samson you are not Delilah you are in Christ you are not sanguine you are not melancholy you are not introvert you are not extrovert you are not phlegmentine choleric 
What of the other one that is like phlegmentin? <laughs> eh? Phlegmatic. You know, some people say, I'm phlegmatic. How can you be phlegmatic in Christ? Is Christ phlegmatic? What Christ is not, I'm not. What Christ is, I am. Because as he is. Kebato, kebato, kebata. Jizazo ketebaha. Somebody say, I am not come to that mountain. But I am come to Zion. You know the other mountain is called Sinai. Sinai is a Mount Sinai. Anything that touched the mountain will die. Even Moses, the coordinator of the mountain, say, I am trembling. My body is quaking because what can come out of this mountain is unpredictable. But we are come to Mount Zion. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> I feel like I'm teaching good here. We are come to Mount Zion. 